Hello everyone. In this module number 11, what we are going to do is we are going to now put the data cable that is going to feed the data into the LED panel and it will take the data from the controller WF1 control. And the job is done by this cable which is called FRC cable, flat ribbon cable. Okay. And there are 16 pins. We have seen earlier in the individual component, there are 16 holes here. This is the female side. Again, 16 holes here. And also you have to keep in mind that there is a notch here and the other side is flat. And the male side is designed that this notch will fit only in one particular direction. And I'll show you how. Okay. I, for this, I need three cables. So I have three FRC cables with me. I'm sure you also will be having three cables with you. And let me start. So what we are going to do is the data will come from the controller. This is my controller and this will go. This is the first beginning. As I said, the arrows indicate in this direction, right? This arrow and this arrow. So I will put the cable from here to here. There is a data flow and then there is this FRC pin, the male side and this. I'm going to connect this to this and then this to this and the last it will be open. It will remain open. All right. So let me do this. I need only three of them. When you are going to connect this to the controller, make sure that your notch, this is the flat side and the other is notch, it is upside, okay. And it is going to fit very simply. So I need to just push a little bit, ensure that the connection is made and that's it. You know, so simple it is to connect this, looks complicated. Now here, let me show you that there is a notch here in the other side. I hope you will be able to see. This side is flat, other side is a notch in this, okay. So I'm going to match the notch with the notch. I cannot put it like this. This notch has to go into the other notch, okay. So let me do it. Okay, done. Isn't it very simple? All right. Then I'll do the second cable. Again, there is a notch here and there is a notch here. I hope it will be able to see it from the camera. The one side there is a notch here, other side is flat. What I will do is I will take another cable. I am going to match the notch with the notch. So I am going to put it like this. Okay. Now you can see how this notch is going there. As you will see there is a little C cut that you can see, C type cut. So notch is fixing perfectly there and if I try to put it like this, the notch is coming this side, it will not go. We should not do it, we will do it like this. Again this notch will be matching here. Okay, make sure that the, all the pin go right through, you will feel that when it, it is completely fit. Okay, so this is done, uh, data is going to from here. And then it will flow through this panel, from this panel to this panel. And I have one more cable, FRC cable, flat ribbon cable that I am going to put here. Again, there is a notch here. I am going to match this. And again, this side. All right. You see the climate clock is getting shaped now. You have the controller, you have the power supply, you have the data cables connected. This end is going to remain open. In case if you are going to make bigger climate clock or bigger any display, what you need to do, you can put four of them together, five of them together and then you keep connecting next to from this side to the next side. This is how you can make and I think that's it. It's very clear and it's very simple. I hope uh, it is clear to you also. And you will be able to put FRC cables together. Next module, what we are going to learn is how to give them power. You know, the controller requires power. Each of this LED display board requires power. So we need to connect the power cables to supply power to the main component of this climate clock. So for this module, thank you very much. I hope you are able to follow me very simple and clear way. Stay tuned and see you in the next module. Thank you.